Topic 11, Lesson 3, the last lesson of Topic 11. Generating new ideas. Procedure to follow in generating ideas for business opportunities. Now, procedure refers to steps. Therefore, do you need to know it in order? Yes, you do. Number one, conduct a need survey. Okay, this we did in the previous lesson. How you take stock of what businesses there are, where shortages and surplus, and you do this by using different instruments, such as questionnaires to gather the information. Then we have number two, to identify gaps in the market. Focus on where there's a shortage. Find out if there were previous attempts to fill the gap. Consider reinventing all ideas. Think about making ideas eco-friendly. Remember, a lot of people are now more into saving the planet. So if you can bring something new out that will save the planet, more people are more likely to buy your product. Number three, generate ideas to fill these gaps. Use processes like brainstorming to come up with ideas to fill the gaps. Use the problem approach. Present the shortage as a problem and generate ideas to solve it. Number four, convert ideas into opportunities. Clarify opportunities that have already been identified. Modify existing ideas to create new ones. Number five, conduct a SWOT analysis. Brainstorm and research the strength weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the business you are considering. Apply the SWOT analyst to make the selection of ideas and opportunities of the business or of the opportunity that you are considering. And lastly, number six, implement the business idea. Once you have decided on a viable business idea, take steps to start the new business. Okay, just to recap, Survey, gaps, ideas, convert, SWOT, implement. These are the six steps that you need to remember. The protocol for conducting research. Okay, now you need to ask yourself a few questions before you conduct research. And these questions are, what is the purpose of the research? What data still needs to be collected? How will the research be conducted? Will it be via questionnaire, observation, etc.? How will it be processed? This refers to the admin part that nobody likes. What is the cost of the project? Remember, money talks, and if you don't have a lot, you need to make a plan. Guidelines for ethical research. Ethical, remember this refers to doing the right thing. Obtain consent from your respondents before you start. Don't just go to a guy and say, hey, I want to ask you questions and start asking the questions. Greet them, be nice, say, hey, um, I would like to collect some information because I'm considering opening a business. They will be more likely to help you. Respondents should know how the data will be used. Respect confidentiality. If they say, I don't want you to ask me questions, respect that. Do not say, don't say, ah, but why not? Ignore them, go on with your life. Use anonymity to protect privacy. Establish a good relationship before asking sensitive questions. You can't ask them, so are you married? How many children do you have? Start a nice conversation first before you ask the weird things. Ne? Okay, I hope you understood that. Activity 5, page 161 for me, please. You know the drill. Do it as fast as possible so you do not get behind. Stay safe, guys.